Uh, uh, ooh, ooh, ah, uh, ooh, ah, uh, wait, no, I won. <laughs> I'm at Bristol Anime Con and Gaming Convention here at the Mercure Grand in Bristol. We're out here, we're going to talk to some people, a couple of cosplayers, a couple of fans of anime, see what we can find out. I've actually never met a furry before. Oh, What's hello. the hello? It's an absolute pleasure. What's the first thing I need to know? Um, uh, we like anthropomorphic animals. I'm going. I'm going in. Wa Waluigi. My my guy. My guy. Wait, what did I miss? This is the actual coat that David Tennant wore. It's the actual coat. Yeah. That, how did you find this coat? Where did you get it? BBC was selling it under and private seller. And you were the first one to get it? 450 quid. Wow, amazing. Are you, he's going to be a, the doctor again, right? What an honour that would be. The official coat. The actual coat. The actual coat that David what, what, what did, What's the David Tennant catchphrase? What does Doctor Who say? Alonzi. Again? Alonzi. Alonzi! Let's go. Have you got the lightsaber? Have you got the lightsaber? Sonic. Sonic. Did I just say lightsaber? Yeah. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm overwhelmed by all the... Ex you look a little bit like Alonzi. Matt Smith. Oh my God, yeah. Matt Smith. Wow. Dark Empress. Go, go. Let's get some sword on sword action. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry, mate. Oh, sorry. Sorry. I forgot what happened. Sorry, mate. I didn't. Jedi's around. Sorry, mate. I didn't. I didn't know you were going, mate. Lead the way. Sure. We're heading inside now. It's warm in here. Where are we headed to now, then, guys? So, like, there's um, upgrade. There's like all sorts of care. There's merch and everything cool. My specialism is Lara Croft because I like Lara Croft. Massive fan of her. I just love Lara Croft altogether. Massive fan. Um, how she fights, how she shoots, her guns, throwing knives and everything. Yeah. I played the game and everything and I just felt like Lara Croft. Do you come here often to events like this? Um, not that much, no. I really, this is the second one I've been to. And what, yeah, what inspired you to try the cosplay? Um, I really like the game. Getting an arm out. Hey Jackson, Ooh. what an honour. I, I wouldn't say I'm a pro, but I would say I'm quite good at the game. Any good memes that you've seen this week? Uh, not really. Tell us something interesting about yourself. Um, uh, Great chat, and let's fist bump through the suit this time. Just uh, do the down like that. You don't have to open it. Yeah. Anyway, favourite villain, Doctor Who villain? My favourite villain, probably the Vashti Stenorada. Mm -hmm. It's me, Mario! <laughs> Does Mario know about this? I'm not supposed to be here with him. I actually don't play Waluigi when I play Mario Kart. I play, um... Who have I been playing recently? I've recently been playing Peach, actually. Yeah. You, are you Peach? Forgive me. No, Miss Daisy? Yeah. Forgive me. Good. The amount of people that like walk past me like, Princess Peach, I'm like, no. The other one. Wrong. <laughs> Do you dress like this all the time? Every day. Do you wear this to Tesco? No. no. Do you have day jobs as well? I did have a job shortly. I had to leave, but um, this oh, is becoming friends, my job, right. basically. Yeah. This is becoming what I do as a job. Full time. I mean, it's art, really, yeah. isn't it? I don't have a job. I just fuck around. Who are, who am I with? You are with Shani Hill. Shani Hill, pleasure. I'm Joe. Nice, nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, I like your shirt. It's really cute. Thank you very much. I, I, I admit, I bought it from my girlfriend. I mean, couples that share clothes together stay together, so. Facts. Facts. There you go. You, uh, what sort of music do you like? Are you big into this vocaloid style? Oh, I love all kinds of music. So, like J pop, K pop, anything goes. That's, that's great to hear. Now, we can see. We're not, we're not trying to expose anything negative here, but just wanted to say, we can see you're selling the waifu pillows. Yes. My first question is, what's the demographic of sales? Well, you'd be surprised. It's actually all. Yeah? Everyone under the sun. Everyone just, it's a lot of fun. Like, you can either put them on your bed and snuggle up to them, 
or you can stand them up in your room so yeah. it just kind of looks like you have an, another person there <laughs> but everyone seems to love them like i mean i love them i've not got one but I'm, you should buy one i'm thinking about maybe tomorrow one. <laughs> getting one. who's your favorite i have chica i already have a body pillow chica it's between your and chica. yeah they're very cute do you cosplay i do yeah as who who, who do you normally dress as Toro Honda from Fruits Basket. And it keeps you on your toes. the slice of life and joy we've met today. So. Oh really? There's no way. Seriously. But like slice of life just makes you humble. Yeah. It's the relaxing. It's like you're part of something. You know? It's okay. We have each other. There you go. Appreciate you. You got one too. Boom. Well. <laughs> Miku. <laughs> Anime con spells. Yes please. I like this. You know. Have you got it in a bigger size? Transaction. Have you been to lots of conventions? No, I'm for Stonehenge. And have you ever dressed up, Pam? I do pantomime. You do pantomime? She's behind you. <laughs> um, I also make a mean beard. So I've actually played Merlin. You've been Merlin? Wow, that is incredible. Are you, are you gamers or animators? Oh, okay, I'm a gamer. Uh, and you're more. Yeah, yeah anime. Yeah. I'm uh, going to probably be next. Uh, are you up to perform? Like, yeah, in a bit. Well, in a we'll minute. have to stay yeah. around and watch. Oh, damn. Are you gonna... <laughs> oh. Game, are you up? Go on, go on, go on. Take the seat, take the seat. I've got no idea what's going on. <laughs> you sound like you're Welsh as well. Oh yes, yeah, we're from um, the Valleys. Yeah, well, my mum lives in Bridgen, so... Oh, you are? I love meeting Welsh people there. Outside of Wales, for yeah, sure. Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> this is this your first convention? No, um, are you... Oh, when I was young, I was a bit of a weeb, so that's not my first... You were a bit of a weeb. A bit of a weeb. And now? I'm still a weeb. Still a weeb. Just a more undercover. You own it now? <laughs> yeah, yeah, now I'm a weeb. Do you think... I was a... Do you think um, perceptions have changed towards being a weeb in the last few years oh yeah definitely because of tiktok i think with lockdown and stuff people just sort of accept you know what they liked and just sort of being themselves a bit more so i think yeah people are more positive about it nowadays and what about at home was it an anime household or did you have to fight for your right to anime no so my mother's chris very christian uh, my dad not so much but i mean i've been like so into loads of different things growing up anyway so i think they just kind of thought oh we'll be in a, another phase but not so much not so much they kind, they're quite supportive it's not a phase mum no it's not a phase mum i'm back in joel <laughs> go on joel <laughs> i think joel is bug bug right he's joel mama whichever one that is <laughs> what's your favorite anime right now um oh gosh probably um yuki yuna as a hero yeah yeah why do you like that one um, it was my first anime, uh, it's Dark Magical Girl, um, and I didn't really know it was Dark Magical Girl until I got into it, kind of like a shock to the system, a bit, mm -hmm. bit like Madoka, yeah. um, but it's a little bit more positive, but lighter than Madoka, so yeah. As uh, someone grown up in, in Britain, do you think that, how can I put this, the way that they portray girls in anime is a bit old-fashioned, maybe? I don't know, how do you feel about it? they can be over sexualized like um, especially if you look at a lot of fan art and stuff like that um, I mean yeah it's kind of old-fashioned sometimes I like the idea of you know I think it's nice when they like keep some traditional things about you know girls in there because you know some girls like all that jazz but then if there's a super masculine girl too I mean I I don't know I think it's a good balance but I mean it's mainly in the fandoms you see it mm -hmm. kind of like hmm, not so positive yes Joa I think that was Joel. Is it okay if we just have a quick post-match interview? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, what was going through your mind out there, Joel? Uh, he said that he'd never owned a Switch, so I thought, okay, I'm probably going to win. <laughs> Any tactics? Uh, win. Well, do you have anything you want to get off your chest? Anything you want to tell the world? Jesus loves you. <laughs> have a great day. Yeah, have a You're great all day. fabulous. Have yeah. fun. Team, Team Wales! <laughs> nice meet you. Should I refer to you as they? If I do? He, him. He, him? Yes. You got the bag? What did you choose? I'm very excited. We've been curious all day as to what's inside these bags. So we're about to find out with Cole. Um, another map. Pretty good haul, I must yeah. say. Very good for 20 pounds. Mystery bag! Woo!
Take me back now, a few years ago when you started rapping, when did you know that it was anime raps you wanted to do? When people started really liking it and, and paying a lot of attention to it. It's, for me, I, I do what I love, but I also pay attention to what works as well. So. Did you rap before you did anime stuff? I've been stuff? rapping, yeah, for a long time, yeah. And then you made the switch to the anime Yeah, well, my music, always, my music always kind of contained anime and gaming influences, but not as overtly as it does now. Mm -hmm. Okay, two final questions. Yeah. Firstly, how long have you spoken Japanese? Um, I mean, I've been studying it for about five years. I think I've only recently started feeling really a lot more confident with it because I just came back from Japan. Yeah, you said you were yeah. just in Japan. Yeah, so Can you speak to people there? Can you understand? It's yeah, uh, it took a little while. Seems like quite intimidating. When, yeah, so when I first got there, I was basically in panic mode every time someone talked to me. But over time, my brain started to kind of pick up little bits and pieces and I could understand. Mm -hmm. Like, I couldn't understand everything that was said, but I could get the gist and work it out. And Did respond you perform out there? No, I was filming a kind of travel vlog series over there. Sick, so, yeah. sick. And how long have you been putting it in your raps? Because I saw that there was a nice, I love the way you blend it in with the bars. And Thank you. Uh, awesome. Probably about three years or so. It's, yeah. it's more recent in my career that I've really started including Japanese in what I do. Did you get so. a good response from that? Very good response, yeah. You're pretty stacked. What's your routine? Uh, go to the gym and lift heavy things. Yeah? Yeah, basically. <laughs> Red guy from Red. Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared. Yes, someone terrified me on Halloween yeah. in my building. The lift opened and someone was in there dressed like that. Sounds about right. It, I, I have shivers, literally. <laughs> PTSD from that. I went as Ryan Gosling to Comic Con and no one knew who it was. <laughs> well, what? Ryan Gosling, the actor. From the movie Drive. No, not just as. Yeah, no. Shit, that. I mean, it's uncanny, if you ask me. <laughs> Bro, who the fuck are you? <laughs> it's a good question. Who yeah. are you? What who is the your fuck name? Are you? Who the fuck are I'm you? I'm Joe Valick. Who are you? <laughs> Joe Valick, yeah. Such a simple name, you know? Hello, listen! Right, it's... Um, you yes. are rocking the look. Thank you. That's alright, do you want to try one of my paws on? Oh, sure. Why not? Just one. <laughs> oh, I just... Should I pull it off? Yeah, go on. This is nice. Oh, my hands. Wow. Yeah, they've got like little four fingers. You ain't got thumb anymore. There's no thumb. No more thumb. What have we got to do with it? Rawr. Rawr. Oh, no! It's okay. Oh my God. Hail Mary. Little Mary. Lost Mary. You can try it if you want. I'm all right. Yeah. You know, maybe I will. Can oh, I? Yeah, yeah. For free. Yeah. I don't want it. I don't want cool. it. Wait, that's mango as hell. Yeah, yeah. It's nice. Have you had any negative responses oh, to absolutely. how the way you, your passion? Absolutely. So um, I cosplay every other weekend in the centre of Bristol, just publicly. Mm -hmm. um, and I've been doing it since I was nine. I'm 19 now. You know, like it's, it's been a long time. Um, and I've, def I've definitely had a few negative reactions. I've had things thrown at me, people shout yeah, at me, yeah. I've had people like grip me to be like, you're fucking stupid or something like that. You know, um, yeah, like, like there's been like a lot of negative reactions, but on the whole, people are actually really calm about it. I think like if, if, you, if, like, if you can present yourself to be like, I want to wear this, I'm going to wear this, and what you say doesn't affect me, then nobody cares. Like I, like, I could walk down the centre of Bristol and people are like, oh yeah, look, baby, you look nice. Like, Nobody cares. To Do you be think honest. perceptions are changing? Definitely. I think um, ever since like all of like the different movements started happening, I feel like people's just kind of views have changed like on a lot of things, like uh, Black Lives Matter, like LGBT, and things like that. And I, th I think that's like a really positive thing, um, especially just because it doesn't need to be all this and that. Like, like the the purpose of them is just to make everybody equal. And part of being equal is just accepting who you are. Like when I was younger, I was like, oh no, that's really weird. But now it's not. It's it's who I am. I like who I am, and I'm also I'm like a separate person outside of cosplay. I'm not I'm not dressed like this all the time. Like like my cosplay. You don't wear this to Tesco then. I do not. Well. Technically, I've been to Tesco today, but like, if I was pop down shops, then no. Like, you know, I'd be out of cosplay. I'd be like a different person. Yeah. But yeah. In your normie clothes. In my normie clothes, my little civilian clothes. Yeah. Any advice? Probably to come with people you know, so you're not on your own, and then like you've got people to walk around with and to like and just make friends anyway when you're here. So you get to like if you end up doing going to one again, you have people to go with. <laughs> Um, we 
we saw you win the lip sync competition yesterday. What song were you doing? Sweet Caroline. Sweet Caroline, that's the one. How did it feel to be up there on the stage? Great, because well, that's the reason why I sang it, because England won last year. Yeah. Uh, are you a football fan as well then? Yeah. Who do you support? England. Tell me something about yourself that's interesting. A fun fact about Jamie. Uh, I'm more interested in playing video games like WWE. You were just in there with Shouda as well. You were up on the stage. Yeah. How did you like his raps? Piece of cake. Piece of cake? Yeah. <laughs> What's your favourite Disney movie? I like Goofy Movie and Little Mermaid. Oh, Little Mermaid, that is a classic. That is yeah. an absolute classic. Uh, I would like to say that join me in a talent show for Win the Ads and one of the manga cosplays will be chosen it's for a chance to win the Sailor Moon Diary. Wow. But if you're not a winner, you don't go empty handed, you'll be leaving with the Pokemon Ultimate Princess Key from X and Y and Z. Oh, that's amazing. What is your talent? What are you going to be performing? Um, I might be a, a game pre presenter. Tommy, what a pleasure to meet you. Who are you dressed as today? Uh, just SCP. Just, just dressed up. Are you providing security for the event? I wish. Check out the lip sync and the masquerade. There's always good performances in there. Is it your full-time job? I wish. I work for the NHS. Oh, well, thank you very much. You're a hero. No by day and night, by the looks of it, huh? Bit of a vigilante. Yeah, I had a couple of people try and make jokes and cover these. Oh. But it's a real respirator, so that actually stops me from breathing. You didn't steal it from the hospital, did you? No, no, no. All mine. Uh, what about you, Ryan? Are you an anime fan yourself? I've become one. I've become one for Christy because, like you were saying about the community and stuff, you know, she's she's 14 now and it's easy for girls, well, anyone at that age, to get sucked into, you know, other other circles. Yeah. And she's so alternative. She loves anime. She's so well behaved. And the community's amazing. Yeah. So when I first come to the first con, I was a bit apprehensive. And now, like, she won't go to one without me, you know? You're a convert. Yeah, absolutely a convert, you know, and everybody's so, it's just a lovely vibe, you know, and everybody's so sort of happy and, and it's a shared shared passion, you know, and you don't get that. These people come here and they can feel... It's a safe space. Yeah, they can feel comfortable, then they can feel happy in their own skin, you know, it, just like Christy, so... Do you agree, Christy? I do, yep. Has it helped you out? Have you made some good friends? Yeah, I've made friends online from the things I like, which is good, and some people in, like, schools and stuff find an interest in stuff. What does it mean to you, cosplaying? Um, it's more than it's more than just cultural or like ha making a bunch of friends and friend groups. It's more or less, I would say, it's more or less just about being who you are and letting the world see who you are. But what inspired you to go My Little Pony? So I used to watch it as a kid a lot, so I wanted to make like an emo version yeah. of a pony, so I just went for it. And I've had the character since like 2015, so I just decided it was time. I definitely think there's a huge side to it that people don't know, which is like how open and like accepting it is, especially for younger people, because we're both quite young. Like, yeah. There's a lot of like people who like are very young and everyone's very welcoming of that. It's just, it's nice. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty accepting yeah. community, I'd say. Like, there are some sides that you don't really want to see nor talk about, which obviously, as minors, it's kind of not for us. But, but you know, it's the same we come like here and we do our thing. So, thank you. What do we do? Do we? What's the way? Do we fist bump? Do we high five? I shake hands? I don't got no hands. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Compete in Mario Kart against each other all the time. Yeah. And this is just the main character I choose. <laughs> Who's better? Who, who wins? Me. Yeah. Me. Sure. Me. Yeah.
Yeah. Have you had many or any negative responses to what you do? No. Or are people quite accept. I mean, a couple of people laughed at us when we were walking through bars. It was really scary because, like, well, what we've done so far is like we've only like the big convention we've gone to is MCM, and then we like we stayed in the hotel, and then the like expo was nearby, so like you just walk there, but there's other cosplayers walking there, so it's completely fine. Yeah. But we just travelled here from Bath. And it was a bit scary getting on public transport yeah. and the train. There's a lot of weird looks, a lot of um, honking cars <laughs> as they drove by. It's true. So it's not really like negative, but it's a bit like oh god, it's a bit scary. Never king. Yeah. yeah. It's a me, Mario. Hijo de puta. And also, I'm autism. Oh, you have autism. How does that? How does that affect your life? Uh, a little today? bit difficult. And also, the reason why I won the lip sync battle because I was the first man to win and everyone likes my performance doing Sweet Caroline. Oh, you were the first man to win? Wow, that's incredible. And first autism man as well. That's incredible. Well, well done. I'll shake your hand on that. Does this, do you feel like this is a good place for autistic people to feel safe? Yes, I probably, but I wish I want that to be every weekend. You want this every weekend? That would be great, wouldn't it? But stop, spin, hands in the air. What do you do? So I'm a, I work, I'm a HR director. <laughs> and, um, so I spend my days um, thinking about employees and engagement and making sure people are happy at work. And um, I have to say, one of the things I've been thinking, certainly today, is we should have a board games club at work. It's the sort of thing that will draw people in and a way of getting people back into the office. So yeah. The thing that I've learned is that it's, there's a big population of people who are really into this stuff. And actually, looking at the demographic, it's a real range for, mm -hmm. you know, from people, teenagers, right through to people my age, if not a little bit older. And actually, it makes you realise how universal it is. And that actually, it's a good way to connect and it's a good way to spend time with people. Yeah. He said, playing a solo game. <laughs> Oh, Gwen. Gwen, pleasure to meet you. Are you Welsh? I am Welsh, yeah. And what are you dressed as? Pikachu. Pikachu. Can oh. you not tell from the ears? Oh, I did wonder, but I didn't want to say. And the tail. Okay, yeah. I thought it was wings, to be honest. I thought yeah. maybe you were a bee. So you're more of a gamer than an anime fan, would you say? Um, probably, yeah. I mean, I do also watch anime. I'm, I'm mainly into shonen. Like, my favourite anime is Hunter Hunter. Yeah. So I've rewatched that quite a few times now. I'm reading the manga at the moment. Um, I also like Have a Bebop for my Alchemist. So like, I'm watching Bebop about. at the moment. Are you? It's it's pretty good actually. It's amazing. It's yeah. one of the few ones that I've been told is better to watch in English. Uh, yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. I w I watched Have a Bebop in English, and also like you, you have a show for my Alchemist. Watch in English. Hunter Hunter in J Japanese. It just depends on the voice actors what style they are, like I just have a particular style I prefer. So I was going to say, are you subbed or dubbed, but actually you seem somewhere in the middle. Yeah, I'm very much in the middle, it just honestly depends on the anime. What's the most disappointing manga to anime that you've read? Oh, uh, Way of the House Husband. Oh really? Yeah. You didn't like that? It's terrible animation, yeah. It was, it's a lot better reading it. Yeah. Okay, I'd never read it. I've seen first season, I thought it was fun, but the joke got a bit boring. Because you know what's happening every time. He's not really going to kill anyone. He's just making bread or something. <laughs> exactly, yeah. But it's still funny. I think it's more comedic when you're reading it rather than watching it. Really. Do you think anime is one of the most successful art forms to come out of Japan? Or maybe not successful, but powerful? I mean, I'll definitely say it's successful. I'm just trying to... I don't want to speak too soon to... Because Japanese food is also hyper-popular. Yes. But I think anime has transcended through different barriers and I think it's I think anime has caused people who would otherwise not be interested in Japan to become very interested in Japan and thus learn more about the culture and the food and etc. So I'd probably say yeah um, anime is almost certainly Japan's biggest export but I, I'm not definite. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
We're, what are these things? We're not sure what these were. So these are all just figures, all of, all of the ones on the shelves and the ones above, they're all just uh, figures. That they're like little figurines. Collectibles, yeah, so um, I mean they range in size, but uh, some even say on the size, so like that one's going to be 30 centimeters. They, yeah. they, they do go grab to a fairly big size, and we've got even bigger ones over there in that corner. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Are you um, a collector yourself? Yeah. Yeah, I do. I, it's a perk of having the job as well. I, obviously, I get some for a cheaper price. Yeah. So, yeah, um, I, I, I collect figurines. I uh, collect the range, really, because I, I get access to a range. So, yeah. But, so, Tim, yeah. it's yes. very good to chat to you. Yes, Let's thank you hands. Much. Ecstatic Static anime. anime. Whoa. Woo. Shout out to Tim. He's just given us some pokey on the house for us to try. We've got... I'm not really sure what it is, because it's all written in Japanese. <laughs> 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 I don't know what I've got. It tastes like strawberry. Bro, see, my mum's got more interest in me. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Pink sticks. This is like... <laughs> <laughs> Meow! <laughs> talk, talk us through what's going on in front of us. So basically this is uh, some wands that my father has been making. Um, he ma makes them by hand. He's, he lives in the Durban Hills and he's got his own wood, so he goes out and he, he cuts the wood from the trees and everything and he like whittles them and, and puts them together oh, wow. with bits and pieces he finds. Um, like it's all like is, sustainable and yeah, exactly. and organic. Some, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely. And, then, and some of these ones, like for example, these are from like antique... Um, it's like, like a tap holders. or something, yeah. Yeah, these were like from candle, um, candle wicks or something like that. But he'd like refine them and, and turn them into the handles for the wands. Mm. Um, but yeah, they've been absolutely wonderful. And it, bless him, he's been like, take them to the cons and just see if people like them. And they like, everyone loves them. Who are you dressed as today? Uh, so, in my opinion, that I'm going as a dad's army uh, kind of character. But game wise, I'm thinking more battlefield. Battlefield, yeah, to be fair, you hit me with that. I wasn't sure whether you were Doctor Who inspired uh, from the scary Where's My Mummy episode. But. I've actually had that for my friend where there was a person here yesterday dressed up as David Tennant and he wanted me to go up to him and just go, yeah. Are you my mummy? <laughs> <laughs> Been here six times in total, wow. but four times in costume. How did it feel the first time you dressed up compared to the times when you didn't? I was really nerve wracking when I first started. But after a while, anxiety started coming down, really enjoying it. A lot of the people we spoke to, they said they put a lot of time and effort into yeah. it. And I, I think some people don't really realise that or recognise that yeah. it's creativity. Do you see it as, a, as an art form? Uh, in some cases, yes. Mm, wow. Uh, do you like music? Yes. Are you a music man? Yeah. We usually do music interviews, so I've been asking oh. people what, uh, what music you're into. Um, I'm mostly around the 1980s, 70s. Occasionally I'll listen to 1940s. Oh yeah? My favourite singer of all time is Michael Jackson. MJ. So, yeah! <laughs> what was the moment when you realised that you wanted to implement anime into your raps? Uh, so I watch anime since I was like 10 or something. And I think I've always had like little references about that because it's just always been a thing that's done, yeah. And I think because of the type of rap I was making, I was worried about putting anime in it because a lot of people kind of had a weird view about it for a while. Yeah. I think it's when Dave blew up and started doing that anime stuff that I realized like people aren't really gonna oh, yeah. clown you or anything Why for doing not? anime. You may as well just run, yeah, exactly. So I thought I'd do both. I'll start rapping more about anime stuff. I did one track on TikTok and it blew up, so I just ran with it from there. Do you think perceptions are changing towards anime? Definitely, 100%. It's getting, yeah, 100%. I mean, recently, even just seeing it in real life, like a lot of uh, just people just in general, like I'll be going to random places now and there'll just be anime stuff everywhere now. Like yeah. you go to town and there's anime shops and stuff. It's like crazy. Like five years ago, you wouldn't you wouldn't see that. It's literally then. almost to the point where it's mainstream now, I'd say. And it's like, because it's the younger generation right now that are catching it. When they're like our age, then it will be kind of just, It'll be the mainstream. Yeah, it'll be the like, mainstream. When, I was, in, everyone. Yeah, when, facts. when I was in secondary school, it was, it was, it was weird. Like if you watch anime, you were weird. I was the one who got people yeah. on it in secondary school. Like, I was the first to watch it in my tutor. And then I, and by the end, like 10 other people from my tutor started watching it. Instead. As an OG anime fan, how do you, how do you feel about um, it getting more mainstream? I'm happy about it, to be honest. It's amazing. The reason why is because the authors are going to make money from it. <laughs> and it's an art that they deserve to, like, you know, win off. So 
I think I've, it's a good thing. I think we're also gonna get more animes now because it's getting that so mainstream. Well. There's gonna be more money put There's into it. There's a lot it, more so funding gonna, in it. Yeah. And I mean, I don't really get the whole gatekeeping thing. I don't know why mm. people. If you if it's cooler, you can talk to people about it. You can connect with people more over it. So it's, it's cooler. Definitely. Yeah. Say something. Zoe would say. Oh. <laughs> 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 you draw this on computer, I imagine? Or? Yeah, so I 3D sculpt them on the computer, and then I render them out and I finish it all up in Photoshop. So it takes me about two to three days to do each one. But I've been doing it since 2016. Wow. So it's been a long project. And I've been very blessed that they've gone viral multiple times and been all over the world. So. How do you feel about the rising AI art? Uh, I think. I th so we were just discussing this, weren't we? But it's, I think the thing is, is that AI has a place in the future for creatives to be used well. Alongside. Alongside, but currently it's being, it's just stripping creativity and churning out trash, basically. Well, the reason why it kind of like focused on creativity is because that's one of the hardest things to like fake, essentially. Mm -hmm. So as long as they were like, well, look, we can essentially fake this and make a machine like put it together, mm -hmm. then like, isn't this creativity? It's just like, well, it isn't creativity because it's taking pieces of other people's artwork and like it's all mashing, mashing it together. It together yeah. So it's just looking for patterns and stuff, which is fair, mm -hmm. like, because that's how people learn to be creative. But then everyone always puts their own spin on something and creates something fresh and new. Mm -hmm. And as soon as that doesn't exist anymore, the creativity becomes stagnant mm -hmm. and nobody trusts anymore. Like, I, I've got friends who are very talented, very famous artists who are getting people com commenting on their pictures Saying, going, this must be AI. Yeah, exactly. And they're like, no, I've worked for 20, 30 years on this stuff. Mm. So it must be quite uh, disheartening, actually. Yeah, and I, I mean, I've seen some stuff that people put online that is AI that I know is from, it's been ripped from my work because it looks almost identical. Mm. And sometimes I even slightly see my logo. How does that feel? Um, it's disheartening, as you said. It's, uh, some people are like, you should be flattered. I'm like, well, it's not really. It's just like it's like somebody ripping my art and going, "I made this," and it's just like, "No, you didn't." You look at the time and the energy. Into it. It's a me, Mario. Ten out of ten. <laughs> What, when did you realise you could do the anime impressions? Um, well, I think one time me and my friends were joking around doing different voices and then they said that I sounded a lot like an anime character. So since then I've just kind of tried out to do a bunch of different ones. Mm -hmm. So over time I just realised I could do that as a talent. My favourite's Navi because it annoys most of my friends. But it's, um, I it goes, hey, hello, listen, hey, hey, hello. Quite unsettling, actually. I'm not going to lie, and that's from Zelda. Yes. The little thing that flies around with uh -huh. you. Okay. And you also said that you, this character, I believe, you couldn't swear as the character because there was kids in there. There's no kids here. Do the real impression. <laughs> okay. Junko fucking Enoshima, aka the ultimate despair. From cosplaying and about cosplaying, I've learned that like being yourself is like one of the main ta like talents of, of everyone. Whether the cosplay is the best or not not as best, whether it's brought or handmade, you get to be yourself and like kind of have your own persona as the character. I need to hear scream like you're going into war or something. I need some energy right now. One more time, anime make some noise for me. Come on. Whoa! What's your preference? Do you prefer performing in the club or do you prefer performing at conventions like this? Wow, uh, it's very techy. I... It's very different, it's yeah, very different. Yeah, yeah, it's very different. Uh, I'd say I love them both, to be honest. I like them both, uh, yeah, definitely. I mean, it's quite new to me. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not very used to yeah. everyone sat down and stuff, but I enjoyed it more than I thought I would, honestly. Mm -hmm. I feel like I need to do both as well because a lot of my tracks are anime that don't work in the club side and a lot of my club tracks don't work in the anime side so I need yeah, to do so both it's very different. You've got to go to yeah. the fans, you know. Exactly, the people, exactly. Yeah. exactly. You've got to give the people what they like as well, so. Oh, Konnichiwa Guan, yeah. I prefer it, to be honest, I like if it's these kind, if it's these sorts of people, but standing up, I think is better. The perfect way to do it. Yeah, one second. Hey, yeah. How's it going? Did you catch the show? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm really glad, thank you. If there's anything that you want to try on, feel free.
Uh, I've got the normal prices there and the deals right there. Okay. I heard you rapping in Japanese. Yes. This is Pachita. This is the chainsaw dog. <laughs> it's a little plushy. It's and this is cute. the kind of like strain that goes it. I like that you went for the human form of I did, yeah. yeah. I did not have time to make that whole chainsaw. <laughs> <laughs> do you do this a lot? Do you dress up? Yeah, lot? I've been cosplaying since I was about eight. <laughs> um, doing it properly for about three years ago. Mm -hmm. um, I've only just built up the confidence to go to conventions again since the lockdown. And it's it's just improved my happiness and my confidence so much yeah. over, over the part over these past so seven it's, it's been a, years. It's a useful community for you to be it, part it's, of. It's been amazing, and it's like so so supportive. No matter your age group, no matter your height, your your size, your weight, everyone is so welcome. Mm -hmm. And it's just a lovely community. I've never felt this much like I have in a community before. And what does it mean to you to do this? <sighs> oh my god. <laughs> um, I mean, if for me, it feels like I can be somewhere to like. To, 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 to belong, essentially. Because people say, oh, it's just dress up. It's so much more than that. It's me to people, it's making new friends. It's trying something new, going outside the comfort zone. And it just, it, it, it just, it boosts your confidence and your self esteem immensely. And I honestly don't know why I'd be here if, if worth a cosplay. It, it has quite literally changed my life and has brought me to so many different places and experiences and friends. That's powerful stuff. Yeah. Do you see it as <laughs> an Definitely, because you can, it's, there's no barriers, you can do whatever you want, you can kind of like create your own established law to some of your like original, mm -hmm. so like for me I, I do gender bend cosplays, so taking popular female characters and like making them male, that's just my way of like create like exploring my like, what's the word, self like expression mm -hmm. without any barriers, because there's, there's no limits. Well you were dressed as a guy today. Yeah I know, I'm, I'm just going to my comfort zone really and just doing something compared to what I did yesterday just a little break as I really have lost my voice and just my energy in general today but have you got a message for the world a message for the world just be kind um, and look after yourself and your brains because you're gonna be with them for a long time um just accept yourself you are who you are you can't change that and if you do try and change it you won't be happy you just got, you got to accept who you are you know it makes you so much happier you know <laughs> peace, love and board games. Peace, love and board games, that's incredible. Let's go up the peace sign. Um, honestly, you just go out there, do what you love. If you like cosplay or you like anime, never be afraid to share those interests. Mm -hmm. Because for every person that says something nasty, someone, ten more people will say something nice. Do what you love and don't let people dissuade you from doing what you love. Catch nice up you. on One Piece, bro. It's crazy right now. <laughs> catch crazy. up on One Piece. Watch One Piece. Watch if you one piece, haven't watched One Piece, watch it. it. Be yourself and don't let people judge you. If they are, they're just jealous. Is there anything you want to say? Anything you want? A message you want to give to the world, Pam? The world is the world is full of uh, uh, you know variety, and I mean, people dress up here in so many different costumes. They can be something they're not, and things that they sometimes would like to be, and. It is about diversity. It's not just about one particular thing. I mean, here they can go in costume, not be recognised, you know. But the thing is, it's the diversity of life. And on people who, like, whether you're in a wheelchair or, you know, even I noticed somebody who was, must have been partially blind going about with a stick. Yeah. Yet, uh, entertainment comes in different forms. And that can take us like a book to another world. Yeah. And it's accepting for of other people. But knowing that we all are going through different things in our life. I think that's a powerful message. Ha, ha, ha.